Whoop whoop y'all, welcome to yet another stream here in the Juggalo Dungeon. My name of course is Shovel, I'm here representing Precious Juggalos, that's what I do. Um, and it's another day of uh, painting. Um, today we're not going to be working on a Juggalo themed piece, we're going to go back to something that I started last week that I had to put on pause while I worked on some other projects, but today we're going to get back to a Garbage Pail Kit project, which I've been excited to get back to, and I'm pretty sure some of you are looking forward to seeing it come to fruition as well. So, how about that? We'll get to that shortly. First off, though, of course, uh, what flavor of Fago will I be drinking today? Because no stream is going to happen without that delicious, delicious Fago. That is the fuel that keeps this whole motor running. So today, surprise, surprise, you've seen me drink this several times, and we will continue to do so because I have so much of it, and because it is good. Fago Cotton Candy is today's super fuel, so uh, whoop whoop, here we go. Give you a little perspective of the, the pour, the color. Hmm. Let me actually move this piece a little further away so it doesn't get any spray. Also, the Garbage Pail Kid card, that doesn't need to get sticky. It will move the paint. There we go. Everything's moved. Safe to pour. Mmm. All right, there we go. Ooh, that focus got a little wonky. But here we are. Let's see, Daisy. Didn't have put that in there. All right. So, now it's time for a Fago break. Cheers, everyone. Whoop, whoop. Delicious. All right. We've had our Fago. We've had our fun. Now, it's time to get to work. So here we are. If you remember, this is what we're working on. Clean off the desk a little bit here. Started on this, like I said, last week. Um, we added the chef's hat. We painted the pot black. For whatever reason, this little girl is uh, sitting or standing in a pot of gold. I don't know. One of those fever dreams over at Precious Moments. So we painted the pot black. We added a chef's hat. I added these handles on the pot to turn it into a cauldron. Very much reminiscent of the original Garbage Pail card that this is modeled after. You can see there is a handle on the cauldron right there. That's why we added this one here. Also, I sculpted and added all the wood under the cauldron to then add the fire to eventually. Whoop whoop, JR, welcome in. Actually, you know what? Let me give you one of those. Whoop whoop. Uh, so yeah, so here we are. We're back to Cannibal Sue instead of Cannibal Stew. Because this one's a little girl, Stu is obviously a little boy, um, and I could try to make a make this look more like Stu, but at some point, I can only do so much, so I feel like I would rather um, make it, instead of making it, forcing it to be completely Garbage Pail Kid, I think it's actually good to pay homage to the original, the precious moment, and kind of toe the line a little bit between the two of the Garbage Pail Kid and the Precious Moment. So that's my thinking. That's why Cannibal Sue, I think, is the, uh, the a good name for the piece. Anyway, here we go. So, um, the pot's painted black. I need to paint the chef's hat white. Uh, I want to paint Sue's hair brown to match Stu's hair. 
Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the uh, weird nightgown thing that she's wearing. That's, I don't know. I don't want to call it problematic. Uh, because again, I, I want it to still, by the time I'm done, still kind of be reminiscent of a Precious Moments figurine while being equal parts garbage pail at the same time. So I might just leave the nightgown alone. Just let it be, you know, let it let it be what it be. Um But anyway, we'll 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 do the easy stuff. And then that's that's like a, a final looks type of thing, in my opinion. Um so yeah, so that's that's where my head is right now. Um actually my head is everywhere but here. Um I posted pictures of the uh, the finished piece that uh, that if you were with me yesterday, uh, we finished up, and um, it is going slightly viral too. And uh, that it's cool, but uh, it it makes my phone go crazy, and it makes me go a little crazy. And I try to like want to keep up with it because I want to be able to glean as many followers as I can, potential customers rather. I did get some Eclipse action. Excuse me while I burp. Um, yeah, we had 89% uh, totality in Kansas City. So, so yeah, so I went outside and watched that. Um, always good to uh, not sit at my desk for an hour and just screw around staring at the sky. How about you? Did you get to watch it, JR? I think it's, you know, it's funny to hear people say it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, because uh, it, it is not. Um, eclipses happen regularly. 95, wow, that's even better. Um, so, yeah. I would like to think that in my lifetime I will experience another uh, solar eclipse, but, you know... Whatever. Yeah. And ultimately, it's it's neat. It's a neat experience. But, uh... I don't know, it's like going to Disneyland. Like, it sounds like a cool idea. And then you get there and it's like... Oh, that's it, huh? Alright. So, it got darker. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a cynic. Maybe that comes with being over 40. I don't know. Or did I just sell myself out by saying that I'm over 40? Am I going to lose all my credibility? I would hope everyone would know that I'm over 40. I mean, if I'm working on stuff like this, then... Uh, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to say, JR? This face doesn't look like the face of a 25-year-old young man. That's just had a lot of sun. Yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah, and I've noticed some of my references are um, older than me, and it's because as a as a kid, I used to uh, spend a lot of time with my mom, watching the stuff she liked. So, you know, I would be watching programs for when, sh when she was a kid, which ages me a lot more. <laughs> Welcome in, Wiggles. You get a whoop whoop too, sir. Oh, hey, JR. Uh, hitting that button made me think. Uh, watch, watch what I did with... Actually, while I while I push the button, let me actually use the button because I'm thirsty. So watch watch Fago break now. Look at this. Oh, I missed it. Whoop! You see how it comes up from the bottom? Isn't that cool? <sighs> Delicious. Cotton candy Fago, by the way. Can't tell from the color. Hey, Moon Crater, welcome back. So yeah, watch, watch, here it goes again. Right back down. Isn't that sick? I, I, 
I love this thing. It's so rad. I look forward to adding more buttons to it and uh, customizing them. No, here's the creep. Here he comes. There he goes. <laughs> oh, man. That Fago, though. Here we go. Back to painting a custom sculpted chef's hat. When you say it like that, it makes it sound like it's way cooler than... A random blob of clay that I stuck onto a figurine. Oh, and then I painted on her head. But that's fine, because I'm going to paint her hair anyway. Overpaint's not going to hurt anybody. I need to find a way to uh, smooth this clay out. So I can see, like, my fingerprints and stuff in it. And weird indentations right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very gassy. Today's episode is yet again brought to you by Taco Bell. That's what I had for lunch. Again. I It did, yeah. This, it's still, it came together like I knew what I was doing. And I, I'm telling you, I, I definitely don't. <laughs> It just stuck on there like it was meant to be. And you know why? Because of this guy. Like I said before. Hi, Jesus. Thanks, buddy. He's watching my back, helping me sculpt and stuff. Alright, that's a coat of white on the chef's hat for sure. We'll let that dry and then we'll come back and apply another coat. Oh, no, yeah, Moon Crater, I actually, uh, I made that. It had a a bow on the top of her head. I'm trying to see if I have one handy that would... Oh, yeah, this one does. <laughs> so, yeah, it looked, it looked like this, with this little bow on the top of her head, just like that. And I molded... Oh, and as I do that, I break a stick off. Super! Um, so, yeah, I molded that chef's hat over the top of the um, bow. Yeah. Sorry, now I'm thinking about the thing I just broke that I'll have to glue on. Good thing I have really good super glue. Just like that. Okay. Well, while we wait for the paint to dry, let's do some gluing, shall we? With my fancy, uh, fancy glue I use for model making. This stuff is really good stuff. Um, what is the safest way to prop this up? Of course, it's my, my mug from my 1997 formal dance in high school. Of course it is. The, the one that the uh, JR dropped a link for on the Discord? Is that the one you're talking about, Wiggles? Hey, Certain Shade of Green! Good to see you! Thank you for your purchase the other day. It's on its, on its way. Yeah, I think it was a YouTube link. Okay, let's see if we can fix this. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Everybody, everybody, don't move. Don't move. Take a breath. Take a deep breath. Nobody move. Everybody freeze. <coughs> oh, my word. Okay. Well, so that's a thing. That's cool. That's fun. Um, I didn't know these were going to be so fragile. Oh, man. Hmm. So 
I just broke three more off. That's the sound of an unhappy shovel. They felt... They felt so much more... Tough. God dang it. Okay. Uh, does she fit in the mug like... Okay, yes she does. There we go. It's alright, everyone. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Sorry, I'm kind of not looking at the chat right now. I'm kind of panicked. I'm, I'm kind of in a panic mode at the moment. So apologies. Apologies. I promise I'll get right back to you momentarily. Hmm. I wonder... You know what I might do? I might cut a felt pad. Or some kind of uh, platform. Maybe. Um, how do I know which is which here? <sighs> See, Wiggles, things do go wrong for me. This is definitely a big, uh, a big uh oh. Oh, and I stuck my finger in the glue. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That one goes there. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Stop. Stop sticking to my finger. Start sticking to the clay. No. Oh, y'all. Ugh, come on. Okay. What's the solution here? There's gotta be... Why did it just stick just then? Why? What? Okay, don't question it, just go with it. Just go with it, man. Just take the win and walk away. Okay, one more. One more, and then I'll, I'll be back. Back to chat. Um, oh. Come on, click, click in. Right? Not on my finger. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say crisis averted because clearly these are fragile. Way more so than I thought. Clearly. So I'm not going to say crisis averted because there could be more breakage. Just have to come to terms with that and be okay with it. And we're going to move on. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Um, you know what? Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's switch over. We're going to let it just, uh, let it chill for a sec. We're gonna, everybody, let's take a Fago break. Let's just relax. Let's, let's all center ourselves. Oh, man. So what I would like to think is when I add the flame element, it'll help shore up those sculpted sticks. Maybe. Potentially. The thing is, the flame is going to be from stretched cotton 
with a lot of uh, Mod Podge. It's not going to be massively structural. But it will have some durability. Some. Maybe. It would at least help the... Uh, it should give a little rigidity, I would think. Or should I do... I'm definitely going to do a base. I'm going to add a base of some sort. Just got to think of what that would be. Let's look at the card again. Let's look at the card. So... Um, let me look at this. So he's on the green, green grass, right? So what we could do is we could mold a plate that this whole thing can sit on top of. Yeah, I think we should. I might paint the sticks first to be safe hmm okay looks like we had some viewers uh, come and go <laughs> may have been during my, my, my freak out maybe could have been alright we're back though we're back we're back and ready for more more action I don't know if I have enough clay is the thing. You know what? Let's just focus on the hat and the hair. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to force it. We're not going to push it. Uh, I'm going to put all my brushes back in my mug. Where they belong. Because that is my paintbrush holder. My 1997... Carried away to paradise mug. I think this was from Winter Royalty. If anybody's curious. <sighs> I believe my date was a lovely young lady named Brandy Anderson. She was voted class clown. As as was I. All right, Wiggles. See you, sir. All right. So what we're going to do is we're not going to, we're going to, we're not going to touch this as much as possible. We're just going to let her sit on the desk. So this camera view is not going to be great for the rest of the, uh, the stream. Bear with me. Uh, I would rather have your perspective be impaired rather than break this thing more. <sighs> I guess that is a good way to look at it, Moon. Whoa, what? What was the camera thinking about there? Here, let's focus right there. Let's just give you a little, little touch. Yeah, right there. Focus on that. Focus on that. Maybe the camera is struggling just as much as I am right now with focus. Maybe it's all a metaphor. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe it was a good thing I picked it up. It, but the glue wasn't totally dry. It almost uh, super glued itself to the desk. That would have been a problem. Would have been a permanent fixture. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, being class clown was fun, I suppose. I've always enjoyed uh, being and being around funny. I like, I like funniness. I've talked before about my, uh, being a student of comedy. Like, really diving into comedy. In fact, I was watching Kill Tony again today, JR. Because there's, like, 
I don't even know. There's like 400 episodes or whatever. Probably more. No, actually, I think 600 some at this point. Um, so yeah, I'm still trying to catch up. But it's such a good series. <laughs> Go to Bob Evans meal. That's an interesting question, Wiggles. Uh, you know, I've I've lived in I've lived in a Bob Ev Evans town before, Joplin, Missouri, but I never ever ate there. Bob Evans people are? I always was under the assumption that Bob F Evans was like fancy IHOP. But I don't know. Is it not? Is it more like fancy Waffle House? Oh, why is that so... Hmm. Got chunky paint, Wiggles. Chunky paint. Can't work with that. Chunky paint leaves chunks. Chunks are ugly. Another one. Hey, Daffy. Okay, so it is like a, a fancier. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've never I've never been to a Bob Evans. Hey, uh hey Daffy, now that you're here. Um I added some cool stuff to the uh the whole stream setup I have. So first off, since you're here, special whoop whoop for you, sir. There you go. And then uh I think this one's my favorite button. Are you ready for it? I'll come over here so I can I can get a good look. Are you ready? He's gonna be coming from here. What? See you later. Yeah, so that's fun. Oh, kill Tony guests are crazy. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I thought you were referring to Bob Evans. Uh, yes, some of them are crazy, and that's kind of why Bob, or, about to say, that's kind of why Bob Evans is awesome. That's kind of why Kill Tony is awesome. And, and Tony knows that, like, that's half of the draw of the show is what kind of random, insane person is going to end up on his stage. Because, like he says, oh, hold on, let's take a Fago break. Um... Sometimes you may bomb in the stand-up, but kill it in the interview. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I still got that covered, too. I got a button for that. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting... We're getting fancy over here, Daffy. The more, uh... The more precious juggalos I sell, the more uh, the more fun we can have in this stream. <clears throat> and that's kind of kind of my whole perspective on the whole thing. Just make uh, make the whole experience more fun for everybody, including me. Because if I get bored with something, then I I'll quit soon after. So it's like a uh, like a tiger at the zoo. I have to keep adding enrich enrichments into my enclosure, or. Uh, or I'm not going to be a, a nice tiger. Um, Alright, so let's switch over to some brown to paint her hair. Uh, let me see here. Um, oh, I'll have to move Urkel out of the way. I, uh, I picked up an Urkel the other day. He'll get juggaloed soon enough. Soon enough. I'll put him there, a little less in the way. Get this bottle of brown. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Painting her hair brown to match a uh, cannibal stew. That should change, change a whole lot of the look here. But yeah, Daffy, the other day, uh, with that, uh, the button of, uh, Jesus peeking in on everybody, we, uh, we started to come to realize that's actually the JR button, because, uh, it's usually him that says something that would necessitate Jesus peeking in and saying, what in the world is going on in here? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Man, JR, you're a tease. <laughs> Okay. I think this brown will probably take two coats. It's coming out very light with one coat. Ugh. So worried about breaking off more of these sticks now. Hey, Maya! Good to see ya. Maya, I did not add the shut up and paint button like I promised. I will soon. Didn't didn't really get a chance to sit down and uh I did start on it. Um it's gonna take me a minute. Because it doesn't exist, so I have to make it myself. <laughs> Black paint just keeps flaking off too. This piece is just going to be problematic all the way around, it feels like. So I think with my most uh, recent sales, I think I'm actually going to buy a new Dremel. My, uh, my last one broke a long time ago. And working on these, having a functioning Dremel, I think would be very useful. I've been forcing my uh, cordless drill to do some of my dremeling for me, and that it's not a good good thing for the drill. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, certain shade. You didn't miss much, though. Thank you. Yeah, Dremels are good. Like all the way around, they're just they're just good for a lot of things, a lot of purposes. But I know if I had one with this, then uh these gold coins wouldn't be such a uh logistical nightmare right now. Trying to think of the best way to remove them without potentially killing the entire piece. And it's already become abundantly clear that this piece is very much trying to destroy itself. So, I would like to mitigate that and use a better tool choice. Oh, really? Certain Shade, you were, like, on a plane? Or were you, uh,
and something even crazier like a hot air balloon. That's awesome. How did it look up there? My buddy and I, while we were watching on the ground, we were actually watching a plane take off from Kansas City downtown. And they were, the runway pointed straight at the sun, so they took off into the sun, and we wondered what it would look like for them at that perspective. Ooh, did that all one-handed. Did you see me waving? <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, that's a collar. I see that. This portion down here is not actually her hair. I want to try to avoid that. Okay. There we go. Maya, earlier you missed me almost get completely spun out. Some pieces I molded onto here were breaking off, and I was close to smashing this entire thing. Sometimes shovel gets a little, little crazy. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. There we go. Hey, Adam! It came close, Daffy. I was... <laughs> I was not very happy with the whole situation. The little... the sticks here, they started breaking off one by one. Like, in my hand, and I wasn't even being... like, rough with it at all. It, ugh. Yeah, even just talking about it, just... feel my blood pressure. Oh, you know what, Adam? You get a whoop whoop. How about that? Made that happen. <laughs> yeah, JR, you were holding my hand real good. And I appreciate that. And I really do appreciate that. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I was having a moment for sure. All right, so we are on coat number two of brown on the hair. It totally right away changes the entire look. That looks a little orange, doesn't it? You know what? I didn't think about that, Daffy. That's actually not a bad idea. Hmm. Trying to think of how... Oh, gosh, look at the black paint just coming right off. But yeah, I could run a bead. Yeah, because then the, the fire would go right over top of it, and nobody would see that. That's good thinking, my friend. That's good thinking. I like that a lot. And that is where streaming this stuff is so... Cool to me because it's like uh, instantaneous this exchange I love it oh, I'm not going to smash it now certain uh, but I almost did then 
I felt very betrayed. <laughs> Huh, so yeah, it is it is kind of orange. So I might I might do a darker dry brush over the top of this to try to brown it up a little bit. Little too too aggressively orange. I don't like I don't like that. Um, I got that too. So that, the stream deck, I have it set up for my left hand, but when I'm holding something like this, <laughs> it doesn't work out too good. Did not think of that. But honestly, this doesn't happen very often. Where I feel like I can't put this down right now, or I run the risk of uh, tapping one of the sticks on the desk and breaking it off, so I'm kind of babying it right now. That's crazy how that black paint is just coming off. And what's weird about that is that black paint was baked on when I baked the uh, the clay. So it should be completely hardened. It should be like at its peak of durability with acrylic paint. So that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, careful, careful. All right. A little bit more of this brownish. There we go. Oh, harvest brown is the color. Well, I would think both wiggles. <laughs> if she had one, then she would have the other. All right, Adam. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out, man. Give me a thumbs up on your way out, if you could. See if it makes the camera do the thing. The paintbrush is screwing it up. I won't do it now. What in the world? Let me try it here. Hey, oh, there it is. That's so weird. JR, the next time you stream, I need you to try to do that on your in, into your camera and see if OBS automatically does it for you, too, because I still don't really know why it happens on mine. Because it's nothing that I set up. <laughs> See you, Adam. <laughs> well, I might need a reminder to give a reminder. <laughs> Let me refer you back to the age conversation that we had earlier. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I think we have adequate coverage on the hair. Like I said, I think... Well, I still have paint here. I might as well use it. I think I'll do a uh, dry brushing of a darker shade of brown over the top of this just to give it a little bit more uh, depth and a brownish, a more brown hue. Looking at the source material, his is darker. Give me a second and I'll, I'll get the card back out and we can look at it together. Your, yeah, <laughs> that is a foolproof system, JR. You remind me to remind you. Yeah, and we'll just go back and forth. All right, all right, all right, all right. That, again, I need to make that button. Okay, put her down, nothing broke. You know what that calls for? Bagel break. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> now, what happens if I do both of them? Ah, okay, well, now we know. Okay. Letting the brown dry. Let me put this back where it goes. And then we're going to use that as a dry brush. And we are... Oh yeah, we were going to look at... Look back at this. Yeah, I guess, I guess his is kind of reddish. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I could see that. Actually, you saying that, though, that, that makes me think, oh yeah, I shouldn't just leave it in the water like that. I should adequately clean it and treat it with the respect it deserves. Yep, yep, yep. That's why this guy... It's always watching. See you, Daffy. Whoops. Well, not that one. Whoop whoop, Daffy. All right. So. We'll dry brush the brown on. I don't think I need to put any more paint on the hat. See a little, uh... Oh, my good brush is upstairs because I was painting that Care Bear. Hmm. Dang Care Bear. Okay. Oh, that's the dark. Okay. There we go. That's a much cleaner line. Okay. Happy with that. Oh, you... <laughs> um... I mean, I'll look. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not too sure that there's an animated gif of Odin giving a thumbs up, but I'll look. <laughs> Especially Odin doing the uh, corner lean. Because it, it would be fun to have Jesus coming from this side and Odin coming from that side. And then I could have Buddha just come up out of the bottom and look at both and shake his head.
Okay. Uh, that's a good question, Certain Shade. Uh, it has not happened, but I have come very close several times. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is, it is a dangerous prospect. I do keep them very close to each other. And sometimes, you, you know, you just get into doing things. Yeah, it's happened in stream where I'll be reaching for it and I stop myself and and I'll say, oh, I almost drank my, my brush water. There's also been times where I'm so thirsty, I've contemplated it. Okay, I got a little sloppy with the brown. Just a quick little touch of white. There we go. That's better. Okay, all good. Didn't break nothing. All right, let me put my white away. Now we're going to get just a touch of this dark brown. And I'm going to use this sloppy mess of a brush. All right, that's probably my... Or... Actually, yeah, change my mind. Yeah, we'll use this one. Okay, dry brushing. Emphasis on dry. Here we go. Let's see if I do it right this time. Last time I talked about it and I did it all wrong. Tried to get fancy and show Daffy how to dry brush and then I screwed it up. Okay, that was extra dry. Did I, did I not put enough paint? Okay, I don't think I got enough paint out. <laughs> Forbidden juice. Did you take it off for the eclipse or are you feeling sick again? Wiggles? I might be going to a, uh, a job fair this Friday, which sounds weird at my age, but I am getting pretty fed up with where I'm at right now. Okay, this, this is effective dry brushing. When you think you're not doing anything, you think you don't have enough paint on your brush, that's when you're actually doing it right. And it's taken a lot of paint, though. Do 
Yeah. I'm not sure how it'll go, JR. I don't want to make a lateral move, you know? Like, uh, if I'm going to change jobs and change careers, then it's it needs to be worth my while. But I also know that I don't really have much potential of uh, progress where I am currently. So, a lateral move might be an eventual upward move, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> funny you say that, Wiggles. Uh, well, like, so the... The job I do with, sorry, let me adjust my camera. The job I do with the uh, um, the convention, uh, that's only like two weekends a year, and then a couple of meetings throughout the year. So you know, that's not really sustaining. That's just it's more fun for me. So I I keep doing it. Um, and then. Sometimes I do audio production work on the side. But again, that's more just to, like, keep my, uh... Oh, no, I, I don't do that stuff anymore. Um... Yeah, my job is not creative. I am a emergency plan writer for the health department. Uh, so I work for the local government. So, I am writing... Uh, but it's not creative writing. Um, it's quite the opposite. Um, it's nice, though, because it, it does exercise that part of my brain for, you know, using good words, vocabulary and whatnot. Because um, I do like writing creatively. But, yeah, my day-to-day -day job is not creative. I would like to do this full-time, Certain Shade. Um, I really, really would. I would have to start charging a lot more per piece. Um, which I don't really want to do. I don't want to price myself out of the market. Also, um, you know, I, I have a wife and three kids and a mortgage and all the things that I'm responsible for. And... I may not enjoy my job, but I like having insurance. Um, I like having a retirement plan. You know, the boring things. Um, stability like that is, is hard to find doing stuff like this for yourself. Um, but yeah, I would, 100%. I would love to quit my job today and start painting stuff like this all day every day that would be that'd be amazing but i also don't want to lose my pleasure of doing this and i think making this my full-time job that that could make it exhausting potentially yeah um yeah wiggles <laughs> I took the uniform off years ago. I'm not putting it back on. Uh, we're done with that. That phase of my life is definitely over. All right. So does everybody you can't really see a difference on camera at all? There is a difference. Um, yeah. Can't really see it on camera. But it's there. I, I promise you. Maybe, Maybe I should be a little bit more aggressive. I think I've got a darker... I do. Yeah, the audio production stuff I do, it's not... It's nothing crazy. Well, let's say that. Um... <laughs> um, we, we set up and for some pretty crazy events, um, like I've, I've been around some pretty, 
pretty big people. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, I really, I really only do that stuff on the side so I can kind of keep, uh... Keep current on what live live sound is looking like in the modern market. I used to run a music venue, I should say that. Oh, thank you. Certain shade. I Yeah. Now that I'm starting to get popular, I, I could start uh asking more, I think. But I also know that a lot of my market is um struggles financially so i i want to be cognizant of that so i always plan on having things in my shop that are 25 bucks because i i think i think anybody can afford a 25 dollar custom painted piece i think i don't think there's anything wrong with that yeah jr's right so so I'm, I, I try to be, I try to be cognizant of that. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. So that being said, I'm trying to think of good ways to have cheaper, um, options for some folks. And like I said, the, the cheapest or yeah, the cheapest I think I'll ever have in the shop is 25 bucks. But things like, like this, where obviously I'm putting a ton of work into it, um, these things are going to start going up. Um, which, I don't know, part of me part of me hates doing it, but then the businessman in me is like, well, I have to. Um, also, getting a pretty substantial following at this point, so... I'm not pricing myself out of the market. I will still be getting sales. And as long as I stay true to myself and I stay true to to the Juggalo family and keep things that are Juggalo friendly, I guess I should say, for, for pricing, then I, I'll be able to sleep at night. But I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I do want to make some money. Like the so the Care Bear painting, um, I don't I don't know if y'all I don't know certain I don't do you follow me on Facebook by chance? Uh, I feel weird even asking that, but but if you do, uh, if you don't actually, I'll show you a picture. I I'll just grab my phone. Oh, I'm actually over time. Um, where's my phone? Here it is. Uh. And there's all the notifications. Um, let me find a picture. There we go. Okay. So, can you see that very well? Focus. So that's a canvas that I'm painting of a, a Juggalo Care Bear. Um, and it's, it's taking a lot more hours to do than I intended. So initially I wanted to, to keep it real simple and keep it real cheap. Uh, but now that I'm starting to really like invest time into it and materials, I've, I've bought things for it. Um, I, I'm thinking I'll probably have to price this at like a hundred dollars. Um, but that being said, it is like 24 by 36 or maybe smaller than that. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a full size canvas. Um, so it'll, it'll definitely look rad in a room. It's, well, I guess you can kind of see the size of it. It's like two and a half DVDs tall and probably two DVDs wide. <laughs> it's a fun measurement scheme. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, so I'm doing things like that where I, I do think I could ask for more and I will cause I should, cause yeah, I'm like, uh, like Wiggle said, I, I shouldn't short, short change myself. I am putting a lot of work into it. Um, so, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> um, 
Uh, I don't have a membership. Uh, I don't. So YouTube, like there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of benchmarks that you have to, have to hit to, to get mon monetization. Um, and like the mem membership or sub subscriptions. Uh, I'm not there yet. Uh, I'm getting close. I need 500 subscribers. Um, I'm almost there. Uh, the next big hurdle is I need 2,000 hours of watched video time, something like that, or 3,000 hours. Um, and currently, I'm only at like uh, I don't know, less than 300, so it's a long way to go. But it's over 365 days, so yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of things I want to have happen. Um, being able to earn money doing this is one of them. Uh, and that, that could help me. That would be another thing that would get me closer to quitting my job and painting full time. If I could, if I could get that sweet, sweet YouTube money. Um, but yeah, that being said, please like, and subscribe if you're watching the video now, or if you enjoy the crap that I do. Um, it would definitely be beneficial to me and to you if you would like and subscribe. Please and thank you. All right, y'all. I'm going to, oh, get some paint on her face like a dum dum. Did not intend for that to happen. Just trying to just whack out some real fast brush work here because I am over time and as much as you guys say just keep going I can't um, I need to eat dinner with my family and then I have uh, some friends coming over to watch a movie tonight uh, because I host a film club because uh, I really like movies so I need to wrap this up uh, thank you JR if you uh, if you want to support the channel and support what I do and get me to the goal of telling my employer to take this job and shove it, hop over to that link. That is a link to my shop. Uh, there isn't a ton left in there. I, I sold more today, um, but there are still some good bargains in there. Um, so snag it while you can. Um, please. And, uh, otherwise, check me out on Facebook and Instagram and all the other places. I am Precious Juggalos on all social medias. Uh, you'll find me on Facebook for sure. I am, I'm getting a lot of coverage over there. Um, going mildly viral yet again from, uh, that piece that I finished this weekend is making its its way around Facebook right now. It's getting shared quite a bit and uh, getting a lot of reactions, which is cool because I'm getting a lot more followers. And I just need to get those followers to follow me over here to YouTube. Okay. That's where we're going to stop. So you see some dark brown. It's not so orange anymore. It's a lot more even on the back. I need to I need to work more on the on the front there, but uh, I'm kind of out of time. Um, keep getting on our face. Okay, I really need to wrap it up. Anyway, thanks you guys for coming. Uh, whack it out then he says. Uh, let's just go ahead and. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, I wasn't in the chat very much. Um, Jesus will be coming again. There he is. Uh, yeah, we eat dinner together every day that we can. Let's say for my wife and I were married. That was something we agreed to every time it was possible. We were going to make it happen. Um, so for the duration of our marriage, we have been. Especially important 
as we have kids as well. Clean the paint off her face real fast. I am wrapping up though, I promise, I promise, I promise. Okay. Alright, that's where we're going to leave it today. Uh, didn't get as much done as I was hoping for. Oh, Jesus is still going. Um, oh, he's still going. There he goes. Um, I think, I think I found you, but cover me ad. I think I followed, followed me. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, thanks again, everybody for being here. Thank you for, uh, sitting through it and dealing with me as I was, uh, frantic earlier. Uh, especially you, JR, I appreciate that. Um, so shout out to, uh, JR and Wiggles and Maya and David and Daffy and Certain Shade of Green and, uh, <clears throat> I'm missing somebody. Somebody else was here, right? Or am I crazy? Am I crazy? Feels like somebody else was here. I said Maya, right? I said Adam. Yeah. All right. If I for forgot somebody, oh, Moon Crater. That's right. I'm glad I scrolled up. Uh, thank you all for being here today. Thank you for participating in the chat. I uh, love you all so much. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll be back here at 4:30 p.m. until about 5:30 p.m. Same bat time, same bat channel. Come on back, and we'll continue working on Cannibal Sue here. Um. Like I said, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, I'm on TikTok, all the things, Precious Juggalos, look it up, follow it, like it, whatever, subscribe, all the things. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video, please. Um, yeah, yada, 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 you know all the things. Go buy the things. Um, there is a Juggalo Discord that, uh, that we're part of, if you would love to, or if you would like. Um, I don't know if a uh, link got dropped in the chat or not. Um, but yeah, uh, join that. You can hang out with, uh, people like me, people like JR, people like Dreadlock Juggalo is, uh, Wiggles. Um, yeah. Um, feel like I'm rambling again, so I'm just going to stop myself and stop the stream. Words of wisdom. Um, don't panic. Take a breath and get back in the fight. Um, always, always, always. Never give up. So there you go. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Whoop, whoop, everybody. Uh, yeah. Keep being you guys, because uh, you guys are awesome. I'll see you later. Bye.